So go ahead and go into a child's pose. We're going to come down to your knees and bring your toes together. Have the knees nice and wide and apart. And then go ahead and bring the hips towards the heel. And if you like to be flying and high, that's fine. If you like to go down towards the floor, that's also fine as well. So what I like about down what I like about child's pose is that, is that it really brings you to the present moment. To so take five breaths in here, let yourself to just sink in and get nice and comfortable, get nice and grounded. So allow yourself to relax your forehead down towards the floor, relax your jaw. Relax the shoulders, let your spine to be nice and long. Feel your breath, feel the expansion on your back. Nice, and we have one more here. And go ahead and slowly press your hands against the floor, come all the way back up. So warm up to, for your spine. We're going to bring the hands, the hands right under your shoulders, your knees going to be hips apart, and we're going to do a um, deep breath in, arch, drop the belly down, slowly take a little pick and look up. Maybe your, your, your chin can be, can be parallel to the floor. And then with your exhale, we're looking all the way down towards the navel, press yourself away from the floor, inhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale, send it all the way back. Nice inhale again. Just feel the quality of the air and exhale. Nice. We're coming all the way back to a neutral spine and bring the hip back into a hero pose. So down into a hero pose, you want your knees together and um, you can bring your feet a little bit more out to the side or not, just being like this, it's fine. And then go ahead and bring your uh, fabric towards you now. And I like to bring, bring the palms together like this and then bring the hands right in the middle of your fabric and then we're going to grab like we're holding to a baseball bat. So go ahead and grab the fabric and this is one of my favorite grip. So every time that we are doing anything uh, in aerial vinyasa flow, you might be doing this grip in many poses that we have to hold and do one of the, the traditional uh, yoga poses. So we're going towards the back and you can slide your hands forward or you can slide your hands back as much as you need here. And we're going to lean towards the back and then come forward. So use your breath here, integrate the breath, inhale, slowly opening the front of your body and exhale, coming forward. And you can even come all the way nice and forward, really start to feel that, uh, that nice and opening of the shoulders. And then exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, nice, really let the shoulders just slowly open, and um, nice, come all the way back into uh, right leg, we'll come forward, we're going to step your right leg forward into a low lunge, have your right knee aligned with the heel, and have your, you can have your toes pointed on that left leg or not that's your choice and then the hands can be right holding to the fabric right in front of you when we're slowly stretching that left leg slowly opening that muscle and you can sway back and forth if you like um we're going to take one breath here and then slowly lean, start to lean towards the back and straight the right leg for a half split and you can lean forward have your spine nice and straight, take a deep breath in, lengthen, and exhale. Let all the air go. 
Nice and inhale. We're slowly coming all the way back into your low lunge. And you can reach the hands a little bit higher if you need to. We're coming up into a high lunge now. And press the right leg against the floor. Tuck your toes behind and slowly find your high lunge here. So keep your hips nice and square. The hands can be right in front of you. Nice. Take a deep breath in. Nice. Three. Feel the expansion, slowly feel. Um, I like to also think about pressing the right leg against the floor and then squeeze both of your legs together. And the cool thing about this is that the fabric in front of you got you, right? So you have the balance here. And we're going to slowly come forward and lift the left leg off the floor. So this is the warrior, warrior three. So the hands will come forward. We're going to find the balance in that right leg. So if you want to look one more time to make sure your right knee is right above your heel and left, lift the left leg and slowly have the leg nice and parallel to the floor. And we're holding for three, two, and one awesome so as the left leg come down towards the floor we're going to slowly rise up and come into a mountain pose nice and we're going to relax the hands let have the hands right in front side of the fabric here inhale bring the hands up and over the head and exhale swan dive we're going to slowly lean forward but since we have the fabric right in front of us you kind of want to um, find your uh, the two bones that you have in, in the front of your pelvis. So you want to really find that bony area and bring the fabric right into that spot. Maybe you can even come to the tippy toe. Um, this is one of the places that feels more comfortable. So if you have been in using your fabric, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't had, uh, uh, if you haven't had any basic off area yoga, um, you might need to go back and and learn that part of it there a little bit more and we have a video for that too so go ahead and bring the hands down towards the floor we're stepping back into a downward dog so take a deep breath here let your downward dog to just be hanging let your shoulders to be down on the floor you can you can even do a little bit of sway side to side into your downward dog it feels really comfortable here too and at any point if you feel like the fabric is not in the right place and it's not too comfortable here in the hip you can always do a little bit of moving and sliding so that you can find that spot so this is sometimes what i have to do too or maybe separate that fabric a little bit more and that feels comfortable you can do both sides or just the side that you're feeling you can go side to side here nice and we're going to bring your toes with the toes together we're lifting the right leg up if you can touch the floor and then the right leg can slowly tuck in into the right fabric and then just tread the leg through and you can get a little stretch here into your legs go ahead and bring the leg back down towards the floor back into your downward dog and then exhale here we're walking forward towards the hands slowly coming into a halfway up so halfway up inhale and exhale to fold nice inhale bring the hands up and over your head we're standing up and exhale hands come out of the fabric we're going to slide back into your low lunge so now your left leg stays your right leg will step all the way back and you can help with the fabric get support and bring the right knees down towards the floor we're into a low lunge nice and we're holding here let the hips to be nice and square breathing in and exhale you can do anything if you like to move the fabric back and forth that's something you can uh you can do that if you like to do that uh the same thing that we did on the other side by bringing the hands in front of the fabric and all the way around you can do that too nice and then from here we're going to a half split so we're slowly bringing your hip towards the back and pointing your toes up and straight the left leg so here's where you can find, if you need to find your center, find your, the side that you are, or even having the hands down on the floor if you need to. Nice, breathe. Exhale. Awesome, I'm breathing in one more time. And we exhale, 
we're coming back into your low lunge and we're tucking the right toes down and press the right toes against the floor come back into your high lunge find your balance here nice so the left leg your knees will be aligned with your heels and the farther you are the more you're working into your um, into the hip flexors on the right leg and the strengthening that left leg so the farther you are the more you're working if it's too hard to step step your leg close together closer a little bit closer um, that's option for you modifications and the left leg it's going to be pressing down towards the floor and then towards each other so you I want you to kind of squeeze your legs together nice and then from here we're going to find the balance in that left leg and we're slowly coming forward and then bringing the right leg off the floor into a warrior three nice so Notice that nice and open to not nice and open in your shoulder, opening up the shoulder, and then slowly it's a strengthening of that left leg. So it's kind of hard here. We might be wobbling together here, and it's all good. Nice. And then as your right leg come back down towards the floor, we're going to slowly rise up. The whole body rise. Take a deep breath here. Hands go right in the middle again. Inhale, bring the hands up and over, and exhale, swan dive. You can bring the hands back to the fabric again so you can um, support yourself and come all the way back down to fold. Step back into your downward dog. Nice. You can shake side to side, sway side to side. You can stay nice and still. Nice. And then now, take a deep breath in. Start to lift your left leg and bring the left leg up. We're going to tread into the fabric. So my leg goes outside and all the way around. And then go ahead and bring the right leg can be down towards the floor. And it helps you to get a little bit more of a stretch. So again, this is something that uh, if you've never done area yoga before, you might want to step uh, step back and learn pieces by pieces. Uh, some of the poses of each here, ne they need to be break down and you need to learn them before you even try this sequence. So go ahead and bring the left leg back down towards the floor. We're coming up, inhale. And come up into a halfway. Exhale to fold. Nice. Inhale, send the hands up and over the head. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Nice. Inhale, bring the hands up and over. And we're going to slowly uh, bring the hands to your heart center, or you can hold into the fabric. That's optional to just kind of hold it so it doesn't come out. It doesn't move out of your way, and we're going to step back. So your right leg can come into the middle. Your left leg will step back into a warrior one. So find your... Find the farther spot, usually four feet apart, and the hands can be touching the fabric or hands can be up, and we're just going to be here. Nice, exhale. Inhale. Nice. And exhale, awesome. And with the hands going to the outside, so sometimes it feels better to just kind of open your arms nice and wide. And then we're going to slowly just move into a warrior two. So you kind of want to look all the way towards the back and take your time here to bring the hands into a warrior two, bring the legs into a warrior two. So it's a different feeling of the leg, different feeling of the arm as well. Nice. And we're going to reverse. So the left hands will come to your left eye. The right hands will come and tap right into the back, the back side of the fabric here. And then with your exhale, we're going to bring the right elbow to your right knee. And the left hands come up and over. Side angle here. And I want you to kind of look all the way back into that left, left little toe. And press that leg against the floor. And I want your whole body to be in a line and diagonal. So I want you to kind of think about that uh, energy that comes and flow from your feet all the way up towards the hands towards the tip of the fingers so feel the energy 
going up and down nice and we're slowly coming back into our warrior two we're finding the balance here we're going to bring the weight towards the right leg and we're going to bring forward into a half moon here so left leg will start to hover weight in the right leg you can find the fabric behind you so you have balance start to lift your left leg off the floor the right hands can touch the floor if you have a block you can use the block or you can use just the fabric here nice so from here we're going to slowly bend the left leg and then bring the heel as close as you can towards the bum so and then my left hands can either my left or my right here i'm gonna go with the left hands and now requires a little bit more of balance so i'm just grabbing my leg behind and then slowly holding here feel feel that opening in the left quad and then to come back we're going to relax the hands without slingshot the leg let the hands go let the leg come back come all the way back into a warrior two bring the head the hands back in check with your knees they are nice and aligned come back into a warrior two nice awesome take a deep breath here bring the hands all the way all the way forward to where the fabric still you're still kind of inside of the fabric so it's always like holding we're holding with the armpit having the elbows in we're going to step forward so go ahead and let yourself to switch your step come back forward so we always putting the weight in the fabric here we're going to inhale bring the hands up and over the head and exhale swan dive adjust the fabric nice fold forward inhale to a flat back find the length and exhale fold again downward dog so we're stepping all the way back letting the spine to lengthen let your legs to relax you can be on the fingertips you can sway the legs side to side and as we are on the fabric it feels really good to create a little bit of movement so it's really awesome go ahead and start to walk your feet towards the front of your mat again inhale to a flat back so let your spine to be longer and exhale to fold inhale hands go up and over the head and exhale we're holding the fabric so the fabric will not move on us and we're going to step back into a warrior one so right leg goes towards the back warrior one find the balance align the left leg with your heels nice so i like to step about four feet and usually that's a lot so the fabric is there if you need a little bit of help you can always use the fabric and have a little almost like a hanging um, so you can go even lower sometimes that's what i like to do it allows you to go deeper into a warriors and we're going to open up into a warrior too so now there's not much of a hanging here hands gonna be parallel to the floor knees is too nice and aligned with the heels here so maybe do a little double check in there and we're going to take a deep breath so let's move with the breath bring the right hands to the right thigh flip the left hands bring the left hands to touch that fabric on your right side nice if you like to look towards the pinky you can look all the way towards the back feet and we're going to inhale again come all the way back into a side angle so your left elbow will come to your left thigh your right hands will come up and over so we are we are creating that diagonal line again so look all the way towards the toes and then just kind of feel that energy flowing through that right arm all the way up towards the fingertips awesome we're coming back into a warrior two so inhale come up and then find the balance on the left leg find your fabric on the back here so the right fabric right hands to the right fabric the grip is just like a baseball bat and we're going to slowly come forward find a balance and come into your your half moon here so you're going to start to bend your right knee bend the right knee slowly bring your heel towards the back so the, my heel is right here you can either hug with the left hands 
or you can find your balance, adjust yourself if you need to. Sometimes the, 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 fa the fabric is not in the right place and you might feel a little wobbly and that's where you can adjust and find where the fabric may be on the lower area of your chest, on the higher part of your chest under the armpit. That, that could be a good place. Nice. And then nice and slow, we're going to let go without slingshot. Take your time coming back. So now the right leg will land back into your warrior two. We're going to find a balance and maybe even support off the fabric so you can slowly transition here into a warrior one and a lunge and then go ahead and step forward so that transition over there if you have um if you have any pain in your um in your hips just avoid just completely come from your um from your warrior to to a standing or maybe heel toe heel toe heel toe and come back up instead of coming and do all that that uh, twisting. But if it feels okay for you, you can do that too. Nice, and we're going to slowly come all the way back into a downward dog. So bring the fabric right in front, right in front of the hips, and we're going to slowly fold down, forward fold. Bring the hands down towards the floor. Come step back into your downward dog. Now both of your legs will come up, so we're going to just lift the leg and then tuck your toes behind your leg. You can sway side to side. And keep breathing. Sometimes when we go upside down, we forget to breathe. So keep the air in and out. Awesome. We're going to bring the left leg to touch the floor. So slowly lift your right leg and straight the right leg. Nice. And we're going to do a downward dog flip now. So go ahead and bring your right hands to your right, to the left side of the fabric here. And we're going to slowly come up and bring the other leg in, bend the knees. Nice. And you can take a break here, take a deep breath. And exhale. Go ahead and come all the way back up. We're doing a double waist, uh, double waist here. And then we're coming up and into a straddle. Tuck your toes behind. Bring the right leg through. Left hands go behind, slowly flipping and coming back into a pigeon. So go ahead and reach all the way behind. Take a deep breath. Unwind your leg. Bring the legs through and then down. Nice. We're going to, uh, this is our reset point. So where you just relax, catch up with the breath. Let your chemistry of the body to slowly come back and relax. We're going to sway side to side. And really let your arms to be anywhere that you feel like you need. Nice. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Nice. And then come all the way back. So to come back. We're going to slowly come all the way, all the way up. Nice. And we're going to flip by bringing yourself all the way in front of the fabric. Nice. Awesome. And then we'll start all over in here with the fabric right in front of you. So bring the fabric right in front and go all the way back into your downward dog. So slowly let yourself to descend back down to the earth. Bring the hands down to the floor. Now your left leg will rise. Left leg goes and tuck. Nice, now we're going to downward dog flip. So we're slowly searching for that back side. Go ahead and climb up. Bring the leg through. Take a moment here, take a breath. And then we're going to double wrap the wrist, the, the waist. Slowly come back, tuck the toes. Now the other side is going to be the one that tucked. We're going to come back and come down. Nice. Reach towards the back into a pigeon. Come all the way back, straddle 
and then all the way back down towards the floor. Nice. Go side to side. Let the hands to relax. Nice. And breathing in. We're going to bring the knees towards the floor. Bring your knees towards the floor. And then we're going to tuck your toes behind. And then slowly lean towards the back. And let your, let your hip flexors to slowly open in the front of the body. Let your quads to relax. Nice. And slowly relax your body. Point your toes. Child's pose. We're slowly sinking down again. So bring the hands down towards the floor. Relax your forehead. Nice. So shake your fabric. Shake the fabric. And we're coming into all the way inside of the fabric into Gakum. So we're going to be inside. So what I like to do here is just get both of your thumbs in the fabric and we're going to come all the way to the middle of the fabric and then come inside of the fabric and then bring your arm and hold into the right side of the fabric and bring the fabric together we're holding to that baseball bat again and then press yourself away right leg will come up and over and we are into that goddess pose. So now we're bringing the heel and slide away. And then the other heel to the end of the fabric and slide away. And then from that, we're going to bend the knees, adjust yourself if you feel like you need. Sometimes we get more fabric to one side than the other side. So you can adjust that. Nice. And then go ahead and um, butterfly your leg. Adjust yourself if you need. Take a deep breath. And exhale. So let yourself to find let yourself to find something that is very comfortable where you can just relax the forehead, relax the muscles in the face. I want to invite you to start to visualize the things that you want to bring into your day. Just slowly reconnecting with the universe, becoming one. So let the tread of your breath to be the connection. Let the body to be rest in rest. Relax the muscles in your shoulders. Relax your back. Relax your legs. Let the body to be nice and heavy. Take a deep breath in. 
And slowly imagining that you are breathing healing energy. Maybe you can see that as a light. And as it comes into your body, it goes all the way, all the way towards the toes. You might then see the energy flowing through any any area where you have a if you have any tension. Allow that energy to slowly allow the energy to slowly heal you in any place that you need. Exhale. Inhale, letting the spine to be taller, all the organs to receive oxygen. Exhale, feel the movement of the belly. Inhale. Slowly grounding into the floor. Exhale. Notice how the energy flows all the way towards the toes, the sole of the feet. And how everything feels so good. The more you allow yourself to ground, the more you feel yourself heavier and relaxed. Exhale. Now feel your right toe. Feel your second toe. Feel your third toe, your fourth toe, your fifth right little toe. Feel the sole of your right feet, the top of the feet, the heels. Feel your right calf. Just acknowledge them. And then relax. Feel your knees without judging. Feel the muscles in your leg. Feel your right hip. And then all the way towards the other leg. Feel your left toe the big toe, feel the second toe in the left leg, feel the third toe, now feel the fourth toe and the little toe, take a deep breath in, feel the bottom of your feet, your heels, feel your left calves, your knees, acknowledge them without judging, and then relax, feel your thigh, your left thigh, your left hip, your back, your shoulders, now take a deep breath in. Feel the air coming into your lungs. And I want you to visualize your lungs expanding. And going all the way down, pressing down the diaphragm. And I want you to feel 
your lungs slowly contracting and relaxing. And that creating a space for your heart. So inhale again. We're squeezing, giving a nice hug with our lungs. And then as you exhale, allow yourself to slowly relax. Notice how it feels the body. Allow yourself to take a deep breath in. Release the tension. Release any fear. Release judgment. Release criticism about the self. Allow yourself to move and remove every negativity away from you. Allow your body to be open for positivity. bring awareness back to your breath and we're going to start to move slowly the fingertips the hands the toes small movements maybe kicking the leg out to the side maybe straighten the spine maybe pressing your way from the fabric maybe moving the toes flex and point and start to let the leg to come all the way back down, slide the leg out. And we're working ourselves to come all the way back. And I know that feels so good and relaxing. So take your time. This time is yours and you can stay there longer. Or you can slowly let yourself to come all the way back. I like to call this as a taco. It's a taco wrap. And you can sway side to side and let your body to be heavy and just kind of relax in here. Nice. And we're going to go slowly and slide the leg through. You can stay here as long as you can, as long as you want. So as you slide your leg through and you come all the way back, so hands in or hands out to the side, we're going to bring the hands to your heart center. And thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of your day, a beautiful week, and a nice and positive rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much.